Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can get started with Finale 2014.5. Now as of making this video, this is the latest version of Finale uh, up to date right now is 2014.5. Now uh, just a word of advice, if you have 2014, uh, you can actually uh, download 2014.5 for free on the uh, uh, Make Music website. Uh, you can go to finalemusic.com, uh, log into your account, and you should be able to uh, download the free 2014.5. Now this version has a couple bug fixes and it will run side by side with your Finale uh, 2014 as in it won't replace the current application. It'll just sit next to it so uh, you can get rid of 2014 and just be running 2014.5. Enough of that, let's get started. So uh, if you've never run Finale before, you'll uh, get this window. You'll get the authorization window and uh, I'm going to assume that you've done all that and you've uh, completed everything, so you get this window. So let's say you want to start a score. So what you do is you go to Setup Wizard. You can either do Default Document. I can show you real quick. Default Document just gives you a treble uh, staff right here. Nothing more than that, and you can start uh, you can start putting in music as such. This is a really good uh, tool just to just begin just writing down stuff, sketching something. But uh, we're going to close this, and uh, you can do this by going up to this little X here, and I'll ask you to, if you want to save, and go back to Setup Wizard right here. Um, and uh, this is basically telling you if you want to click on Setup Wizard. Let me show you. Um, if, there we go. So again, you're back at this. Exercise wizard scanning. Uh, scanning, I can tell you right now, it's going to be uh, disabled in the next release of Finale, which is going to be coming out this summer. Uh, I'm not allowed to tell you when it is, though. It'll be, be coming out at the end of the summer. But uh, due to copyright infringement and uh, the safety of uh, everyone's rights, uh, the musicians and composers and arrangers, uh, we're going to be disabling this uh, scanning feature. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, so default document templates. Uh, let's go to Set Wizard. So here you can choose an ensemble. There's some pre-made ensembles already if you want to. Uh, you have your engraving style. Uh, I usually leave it, leave it to uh, default, but uh, there's there's kind of a handful of uh, different types of engravings, fonts, if you like. Uh, you set up your paper, pretty basic stuff. And click Next. Now, now this is where your instruments are, and there's a bunch of instruments in Finale 2014.5. Uh, just to, here's just the, the keyboards alone. Uh, voices, you have a bunch. Winds, I mean, you, you have a ton. Lots of foreign instruments. So you have pretty much your entire, uh, all these world instruments at your disposal. So uh, for now, we can, let's just do, stick to a keyboard. That's uh, pretty simple. Whoops. Here's a good example. If you want to remove some, you just remove them as such. Highlight over that. There you go. Score order if you're uh, writing for an ensemble. Uh, here's some uh, already pre-generated uh, default settings here. I uh, just I just tend to leave this. I, I choose the order, but uh, if you're writing for a big ensemble, this is uh, pretty good. And if you want, uh, let's say if you have a particular ensemble and you want to save it as that uh, template, you can actually go down here and save current ensemble, and then it'll show up back in your, uh, uh, it'll save back into your uh, ensembles right here. So you can scroll down and then click it until you don't have to keep doing this again. So we're gonna click next, uh, no fill in title. I'm just gonna leave it blank. We can fill this in later. Now you can go into your time signatures, your tempo right here, your key signature. Now this is a really nice feature. You can actually have keyless, which uh, previous versions of Finale uh, didn't have this option. You had to choose major, minor, and if you're writing, you know, some experimental music that didn't have a key signature, it was uh, a little bit more tricky to hide the key signature. So this is a very nice uh, feature. You can even choose this option: high key, key signature and show accidentals. You know, number of measures. I usually make this 100 because 31 is not enough for me. Pickup measure, tempo marking, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so we're just gonna leave this as it is and. Uh, our document. So now we have a piano uh, piano staff. Now we can start composing music. 
One thing you can start doing if you want to start composing music is my method is I'm very old school. I simply do this simple note entry because it's pretty straightforward. You can uh, go here, click your note value and click uh, the note you want in the uh, staff. So, and then uh, it'll just leave it as such and you can play it back. Not a good example, but um, so that's one thing you can do. So I'm gonna, I'm planning on making a series of videos on going over step by steps uh, how to get started with Finale. Now there are if you go up to Quick Start videos down here, this will take you to uh, Make Music's website, uh, the Finale website, and it'll actually give you a guide on how to uh, all these 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 videos. Uh, uh, explaining all these things and showing you how to do all these simple things. I plan on getting into more advanced features in Finale because these don't really show very many uh, advanced things and they can be uh, rather difficult and they're actually pretty old videos. They're from uh, at least 2011 if not before. So um, yeah, they're, they're a couple years out of date just to say. So I hope this series will be useful. Um, thank you for watching and um, I'll look forward to my next videos and I, I, I hope uh, you, uh, you succeed in your goals and finale. So I'll see you next video. Thanks. Bye.